name's Brenda, and today I'm going to show you how to fold a handkerchief into the shape of a dress. A while back, when we went home for Christmas, a friend of mine showed me a hanky that she had folded into a dress, and I fell in love with it because I have a large collection of hankies, and this is what I created behind me, and I posted it out to a group that I'm part of on Facebook and I got so many compliments and so many requests from people to please show them how to fold their hankies into the shape of a dress. So I'm going to do that for you today. So here in front of me is a little dress out of a hanky and I'm going to unfold it and I'm going to show you step by step how to fold your hankies into a dress. You want your hanky, yours will be pressed and it won't have the crease lines already in it. But you want to take your hanky and fold it in half and press it with your fingers. You can press it with a hot iron if you want. Not too hot because they're delicate and you don't want to um, scorch it and then unfold it and you'll have one crease line down the middle and then take half and fold it into your crease line. Take the other half and fold it into the crease line just like that and then unfold it. Now you're going to fold, take your hanky and turn it the right side of the, fan of the hanky is facing you and you want to, with your fingers, pinch up the first little crease you made and fold it into the half mark of your hanky. And then you will do the same thing with the other side and fold it into the center, just like that. So now, it looks like this. It looks like this on the back side. Now from the front, depending, this is my background square. It's 11 and a half inches square. This hanky, once it's folded, will be small enough that it will complement the block. So we're going to make the bodice of the dress by folding up pinching up about a, an inch to an inch and a half, depending on how long your hanky is, and fold it up, and then just press it with your fingers or press it with your iron. You may want to use some pins in the beginning. Mine will stay since I had already pressed it, and it will look like this. Now take one side, because we're creating the bodice, and flare out your little dress. And you'll do the same thing to the other side. And run your finger down it to make a little crease. Another thing I want to tell you about the opening of the dress. When you are laying your hanky out, look your hanky over for any stains or any um, blemishes that you don't want to be seen and you may want to pick the prettiest object on the hanky to be in the center of the flared opening of your dress like on this one this end of the hanky um, had more little flowers on it than the other end so I chose to turn it this way so that when the dress was open you would see the flowers okay so now we have the two flared sides of the dress are open. Take your hanky and turn it over. This was the trickiest part for me to learn, and I, I got frustrated with it, but just practice and um, you'll get it. So this is how your hanky should look right now. Take this part of your hanky and pull it back about an inch. So you can see from the tip of the middle here 
to the edge. This is just about an inch. You're going to take this top little peak right here of your hanky and pull it straight back. And this will cause this piece of the hanky, it will come down into what looks like to be a little triangle. And then on the same side, take the little peak, pull it straight back, and press this down. At this point, you probably will want to give this a nice little press with your iron, just to help keep it staying in place. Now, since we're building the bodice, bring the right side over all the way, and then your little flare will come with it, and it also forms like a little triangle. You just want to press that down, and this makes the little flare out on your dress. Okay? Fold this end back, and this will become the little cap sleeve that you see in the front of the dress. And give it a little bit of a press. Same thing for the other side. Bring this over, bring this down, fold out the little cap sleeve, and give it a little press. You might want to use some pins. If it's not staying together, I put some starch on mine so it's holding together pretty well. Now. Here is your little dress. On the original internet um, tutorial instruction sheet that I read and I went step by step, they did the flare and the, made the bodice of their dress a little bit longer. As you can see in this dress right here, the bodice is just a little bit longer and then the waist is a little bit wider. So you can play with it you can see the difference in this one where the bodice is shorter and the flare of the dress comes out farther. So you can do what you want with it to make it your own. So this was obviously a square hanky. But if you're like me, you have a large collection, you will have a lot of hankies that have scalloped edges or they have really large floral scalloped edges. This one, they're not all the same size. So this one would be a little bit too large for this size of a block. So when you're gonna make your hanky quilt, you want to try to pick out hankies that are of the same similar dimensions that you can fold into a good approximate size to fit your background squares. And because mine was scrappy and I didn't have a whole bunch of squares, I had to get as many squares out of what I had left over as possible. 11 and a half inch square was the largest that I could cut out of what I had. So that's what I did. Um, some other tips or hints for your hankies is look them over. You may want to launder them. If they're very thin, you may want to stabilize them. When you put them onto your block, you can spray them with starch. Again, I would look for like any little blemishes so that those can be hidden within the folds of the dress before you mount them onto your block. Uh, the mounting of the dress to the block. Like I said, if they're thin and they need stabilizing, this is just an old dryer sheet. And if you want, you could use some of your fabric glue. Um, tacky glue is great. You could put a few drops of that on your hanky and put the stabilizer in a few places on the back. Let it dry and then I would take the scissors and trim away so that none of this would be seen, just to um, help your hanky hold up well. And then when 
I adhered mine to the block, I used Stitch Witch. And I just cut a few pieces of this off and put it under the hanky in different places. I centered it and got it where I wanted on the block. And then I took a few pieces of this and put it around there and used the iron for just a few seconds to hold it on there. Because then I went around each hanky with um, a needle and thread that was similar to the thread color used on the outside edge of the hanky to stitch them to the block. Now, be, but before I did that, I decorated them with buttons. Probably everybody who quilts has, they have something like this where they have all kinds of little buttons that are different colors, different sizes, different shapes. I have buttons in all colors, uh, blue, purple, red. Um, there's trims. I have pieces of old lace, rickrack, little flowers and rosettes that you can sew onto your dresses before you mount them on your block. So obviously, this quilt, you would not put this into the washing machine and wash it. It's merely for um, to hang on the wall to look at. Maybe you want to lay it on a guest bed. It wouldn't you would not use this on a daily basis. But to um, accent the outside just a little bit more, I went around the outside and took my leftover cream and white material and cut it into various size squares and folded them into prairie points. And so on top of each prairie point, I've sewed a little button just to hold the prairie points down give the quilt a little bit more interest, and then it has one final border on the outside. And so this is just the size that it's going to be. It came out to be around 56 inches square. And so as you can see, I've already marked it um, with my quilting lines. I am going to put this in a frame and I will hand quilt it myself. Um, but that is how I did it. That is how I, I learned to fold the handkerchiefs into a dress. And I hope that I went slow enough. Just practice. Um, I did get frustrated with it initially. Um, like I said, learning to fold the bodice on the back. That was the most difficult part for me. But then once I did it a few times, you kind of do get the hang of it. It's like anything else. You just have to practice until, until you get it. And so I hope this is helpful to, for you, and I would love to see what you create with your hankies. Thanks.